How's it going, guys? So in this short clip, I'm going to talk about how to manage stress while studying for USMLA, okay? So I know many of you think that this is strictly just going to be tactical, as in go to the gym, get more sleep, make a fucking diary. You know, people are going to have these different types of methods that they can attempt to alleviate stress via. But I think this clip, and I've made content on this before, but nothing updated, is more about the psychological aspect of recognizing that the study for USMLE, the process, is not just about learning information itself. It's literally a psychological screening test that can screen people out who can't handle stress. Okay, like for instance, if you're a surgeon and there's some sort of perturbance, you get bad news or something occurs during a surgery, you have to be able to finish that surgery, right? You can't have a bad outcome, an adverse outcome for the patient because you can't handle your emotional situation. So people who use the argument as, oh, I learned stuff, but I just get test anxiety. Well, you are screened out. You're ruled out for becoming a physician because the healthcare field needs people who can not be perturbed by stimuli that aren't convenient to them. And likewise, if let's say you're a family med doc, it's the same deal. If you're sitting in with a patient, you're having a conversation, nurse comes in, whispers bad news in your ear, you have to maintain temperament and composure and finish that conversation. That's how it works. So I, I'm discussing this because it's a matter of when you get stressed, and that's fine when you're preparing for exams, you have to take a step back and reflect and just say, look, this is part of the process. This is the, this is the screening process where you just have to fucking handle it. It's literally that simple. You have to handle it because it's not just learning the information, but psychologically, it's a matter of gaining discipline, not just in terms of your work, of your work ethic, but psychologically to be able to handle stressful situations. Tactically, fine. I would say go to the gym. That's pretty standard. People are going to have different ways of uh, tackling the physical fitness aspect. I'd say six plus days a week. That's going to help you hugely psychologically. You can have tremendous work ethic and there's always time to fit in the gym. People who say, oh, I don't have time. You have time. Delete something else from your day. The time that you think you don't have to go to the gym, I can guarantee you, you exceed that amount of time in procrastination, checking social messaging, that type of thing throughout the day anyway. So it's a matter of becoming more efficient. The same, think of it this way. The same fucking way you make time every day, or at least we hope you do, shower, brush your teeth, right? There's certain things eat. There's certain things you have to do that you don't really think twice about, gym should be the same way. And it's not a physical fitness seminar, but it's recognizing that that will literally keep you in check psychologically, tactically. That's very concrete, making sure you maintain that regimen. So you're going to choose the, the start of your day or the end of your day. That's in my view. So always when people are like, I do the middle of my day. No one fucking cares, okay? Start of your day, the end, the end of your day. I choose the end of my day. So I do work throughout the whole day. I'm sitting, not moving a lot. And then I say, cool, now I can get my stress out and go to the gym and right. That's a nice thing. And so obviously maintaining your sleep, that's pretty much it. Okay. I'm not really into the whole like softy fucking like yoga meditation shit that some people do rock on if that's what you do. But I'd say the three main points truthfully are just sleep well go to the gym. Those are two, the most two tactical things, 6.5 hours of sleep per night, ideally try to get. And then even if you're working super hard, which you should be, and then just recognizing that studying for the USMLA, studying for these board exams, it's a psychological screening test as much as it is one of you acquiring knowledge. And if you can't handle emotional perturbances, you get anxious, you get stressed, and somehow that's going to adversely affect your study, then you have to recognize that the profession, it's not ruling in people like that. 
So you can't make excuses. You got to hold yourself together. You got to uh, gain discipline in that regard. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content on the subscription. Appreciate your time. That's it.